Twilight Masquerade is perhaps one of the best sets so far we've got from the Scarlet and Violet era with tons of great cards with beautiful artworks and we're going to be discussing the most expensive cards from Twilight Masquerade in today's video. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel guys, this is VMAT. If you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and joining in all the fun we have here and also all the discussions we have on the channel. And today we'll be discussing Twilight Masquerade, the latest Scarlet and Violet set. And we do have some great cards in this set, but is it the best set so far from Scarlet and Violet? Is it better than Temporal Forces? I'd love to know your thoughts about that. I think Temporal Forces in general uh, is going to be one of those sets that people are going to be looking at very fondly in the future. However, after Twilight Masquerade, things are going to get more interesting in the Scarlet and Violet era. I think we're also getting Mega EXs down the road, so that could really shake up everything in the Scarlet and Violet era. It kind of it's reminiscent to like the Sword and Shield era where you basically started getting these alternate arts like halfway through the era almost it felt like right and and then if you look at the sun and moon era you started getting those team up cards or the tag team cards and over the last few sets so those sets have always been in higher demand it feels like the last sets were the half the last half of a block um those booster boxes and the singles do better than the earlier sets in the block i don't know it could just be like nostalgia um but i also think good artwork and just how beautiful the cards are and how hard some of these chase cards are to get definitely does push up the price of those cards however with that being said let's start taking a look at these singles from Twilight Masquerade, starting off with Dragapult EX 200 out of 167, currently sitting at $19.64. Its all-time high over the past month was $37.20, so it's definitely been on the downward decline, unfortunately. Next card on the list is Cornerstone Mask Augur Pond EX 215 out of 167, currently sitting at $19.90 for its hollow foil market price and it's basically been on the downward decline ever since the set was released and the artwork here it's kind of like a shattered glass look to it um actually kind of almost like a hall of mirrors uh, i'm getting it's very trippy artwork uh, it's not something that i personally enjoy it's not my cup of tea i should say but if you enjoy it let me know down below in the comments section now we're getting into something that's a little more my cup of tea i love the artwork on this card Sinistra EX from Twilight Masquerade, 210 out of 167. Now it is sitting at $20.72. It's really bottomed out and it's kind of stabilized though. So uh, I don't know if it's going to go down further over the next few weeks, but right now at least it looks like it's stable, but it definitely took a massive tank at release. Next up, we have another kind of shattered glass looking kind of kaleidoscope style card. It is Wellspring Mask. Ogre Pond EX 213 out of 167. It is currently sitting at $27.66. And if you look, it's basically been on the downward decline ever since its release as well. Actually, most of the cards, there's a few cards that are a bit of a surprise on today's list, but uh, we'll take a look a little later in the video for those. Lana's Aid, our first trainer card in the video. Love the artwork on this. It does feel like it's something stripped, uh, just taken right out of a manga. So I really do like that style of artwork. It is sitting at $32.84, and it's also been basically on the downward decline, but it looks like it has stabilized uh, a little bit after release. Next up is one of the cards that I was talking about that really had a bounce back up. It did bottom out at about $31.41 on May 23rd, it's been on the rise, it's sitting at $39.09, and that's Kieran, another trainer card, 218 out of 167, and I love the artwork on this card, I love the vibrancy, I love the colors, I love that you got Pikachu in there, and I love you got some motion blur in the background with a, a Pikachu in the back, it could be someone who has a Pikachu on their shoulder, almost looks like a Pikachu mask though, it's a very, very interesting card, I love the artwork, I love that it looks like it's at night. You got that kind of like that moon shadowing effect, kind of like a bluish, nice purple color to it as well. Just the amount of colors and just the amount of vibrancy in this vibrancy in this card. I just love the artwork of this. And uh, the market agrees because it's been on the rise and there isn't a lot of Twilight Mask Grey cards that are on the rise. And this is actually one of them. Next up is a gold card, Buddy Buddy Poffin. Yeah, not my favorite. I've already said, you know, my my opinion on gold cards i'm just not really a big fan of it but if you love them let me know down below in the comment section it is sitting at 43 dollars and 31 cents for its hollow foil market price and it's been on the decline since release but again this card like many of the others on the list have actually stabilized though which is a good sign teal mask ogre pond ex 
211 out of 167. Another card with trippy artwork sitting at $43.45 for its hollow foil market price. And it's also been on the decline ever since release, although this one is not as stable as the other few cards that we've already taken a look at on this list. It might actually go down even further. Next card is EV. Beautiful card, amazing artwork, obviously a very popular Pokemon. And this is probably one of the only cards on today's list that's been doing nothing but going up. Currently sitting at $46.20 for its hollow foil market price. And it actually started release at around $25.59. Beautiful artwork, obviously a very popular Pokemon. I love the fact you're getting multiple EVs in one Pokemon card. So you get more bang for your buck for sure if you're a huge EV fan. Ursaluna EX from Twilight Masquerade, 216 out of 167. And this one's actually been on the decline since the release sitting at $56.95. Next up is Perrin, 220 out of 167, another trainer card here. And this one is actually sitting at $82.87. And this card has really spiked over the past few weeks from May 23rd until now. It, it went up from $55 to $82. 87 so it's went up by like 27 dollars in price that is insane next up is another trainer beautiful artwork on this one as well i love the uh i love the focusing on this card i like the fact that she's really prominent in the foreground and the background is kind of blurry giving you a lot more focus on the uh the card what you're actually supposed to be looking at which is the the trainer card here carmine i love the artwork on this it is currently sitting at 124 dollars and 71 cents which is insane it's actually higher than its pre-sale price and on may 23rd it was only 75.86 which is still expensive but if you look at that price movement upwards it is insane 124 dollars and 75 cents is this too much for this card? Let me know down below in the comment section. I still think it's a beautiful card, but we're gonna be talking now about the most expensive card from Twilight Masquerade, and it is the Greninja EX. Beautiful card. This one, it looks like someone got a paintbrush and just with a varying paint cans and just kind of splash a bunch of paint on it and it really does make it vibrant and I like that you have Greninja on the top there. It just looks incredible. I love the look of this card and it's no surprise why it's the most expensive card on the list for Twilight Masquerade. It's, it's just gorgeous artwork sitting at $151.43. Now it did bottom out at around $111.13 on May 21st. Unbelievable card, great artwork, but let me know down below in the comment section what your favorite card is from Twilight Masquerade and was it on this list? Maybe it's actually a card cheaper than all the cards we focused on for today's list. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a like on the video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.